am Nick Bayer and today I'm playing Bound by Plastic Studios and Sony Santa Monica. You know how Journey was a walk em up? Bound is a dance em up. It's totally different. Let's take a look. Mm hmm, mm hmm. Maybe it's a drive em up. Hmm. A house em up? Knock her up. It's fine because she's pregnant. That was solid. That was just solid. I've never been more proud of anything than that. All right. Now, you're pregnant, so I don't think you should be dancing anywhere. We'll do something safe for you, and that's just slowly walk into the ocean. I'm worried because she's not actually stopping. I don't know if she's doing it slowly or I am. Oh, right, it's like I've hit an invisible wall. I thought she was taking like a moment where like she stepped into the water and then it, it triggered a memory. So then the next step was this slow sort of like <gasps> the ocean. But instead it was <gasps> there's an invisible wall here. Uh, so let's let's just let's just skip along the uh, path. Thankfully, there's no run button because, of course, preggers. Is there a shoot? There's no shoot either. She's doing classic pregnant woman sit down as well. Though. I bet when she gets up, she does the. I'm missing the game. All right, there seems to be some sort of fly queen. I'm really wondering how this is related to the pregnant woman. Maybe she used to be a fly? Oh, look at that strut. That is just a boss pose. I love the uh, the pixels as well, like on the dress. I love the sort of um, geometric look that, that it has. Okay, let's move. Oh my God, this is how I wish we moved all the time. By the way, I used to dance as a child, so I'm going to be looking at this game with very critical dance eye. That of course is called a jump. That's a roll and I'm dead. Um, much like my dancing when I was a child, hold R2 to dance and free yourself. I cannot believe I killed her straight away. Right, so I hold R2 and this is how she dances. Those are spins. Uh, that's break dancing. Big fan. I was never particularly good at that. I was more of a ballet boy. So it says hold R2 to dance and free yourself, but it just seems to be hold R2 to dance. It, it looks, so far, it looks like the dancing isn't actually doing anything other than just looking great. She's got a great job. I mean... I could jump that high when I was a boy. They called me Old Jumping Pete because they confused me with someone else. This, of course, in the dancing community is what we call a forest of french fries. And this is how I dance through them. I hope you learn more moves because there's a lot of spinning, which of course is an important part of dancing, but at some point you need to lift somebody up. You need to go into first position. A parlez-vous. Uh down here. I like how she always has her hands out. She's a fly princess, but she thinks she's an aeroplane. It's one of these things where, uh, where like it looks lovely, but if you knew this person in real life, you'd just be like, please, Margaret, can we just leave the shopping center? <laughs> and instead she's like grabbing on the glass doors and spinning around on the trolleys. Margaret, we have an appointment. The core strength here is, is sublime. She was skipping like like eight rungs. So th the twirling is ob obviously doing something. There's this moment, you know, everything turns blue. Like, do I dance and something appears? All that appears is beauty. Margaret! Uh, okay. So maybe dance. Excellent! And now we celebrate by pretending to be a very small biplane. 
She looks a little like a Destiny character. I feel like this is, feels like a Destiny helmet, so at any point I'm expecting her to be very boring and shoot something. I like how you can just add a little flourish to everything. I think that's the way to play this game. You don't want to be dancing the whole way through because the dancing actually slows you down. But if you say run, roll and jump, and then at the end, dance. You've just, you've brought a little light into the world. Let's, let's watch, shall we? Jump, roll, dance. Beautiful. Oh no. Oh God, I'm gonna have to dance fight him. Or not? I'm in control. I am the table. All right, a family. And can we just take a moment for how utterly terrifying the baby boy's painted cracked face is? Uh, let's get closer. That's a checkmate. You're done, kid. Okay, so... Is this her as a child? Was she blonde? I think she was blonde. She was also wearing blue. So I'm guessing it's her. She hasn't changed a bit. Except now she's pregnant. Home to the Fly Queen! Why aren't you going and doing this? You seem much more powerful than me. You must be a much better dancer. I love the way the world folds in. Like all the pixel stuff, all the shapes that turn into platforms and all that sort of thing is, 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 is very appealing to my sensibility. Uh, that's an awkward position, so I'm gonna go over here. Don't wanna feel like I'm perving on the fly princess. Run, jump, roll, dance. I'm beginning to think maybe she hasn't actually danced that much because she really is just constantly spinning. Okay, so standing on the purple thing uh, makes it uh, come towards us, so we must run and dance. We must dance. Run. Jump, roll, dance. She's got one move. She's actually she's actually exactly like my niece, which is watch me dance and then just lots of spinning. Impressive for a three-year-old. But you know, this girl is... I don't know, at least 16. So a little less impressive. But she's a hell of a balancer. Oh, this guy. This is a metaphor for something. I don't know, for what? Is this something about how we shouldn't kill flies? Am I the guy? I'm still not sure what the blue ribbons are, other than just like, it's like applause. I feel like it's like applause. Uh, I mean, I guess I go down these stairs, but I'm worried about what this world looks like, because this looks like an ocean. Oh, but it's receding. We're fine. What's this thing? Ah, no! Okay, we're fine. Uh, look, it's a glowing pole. I'd definitely jump on it. Nice. Ribbon work. Into hell. Okay, so we're down in, in the sort of, like, ocean depths area. Uh, let's run across this. That's me. That's me. I'm in my bedroom. If I know anything about teenage girls, and I don't, it's that they have pictures of themselves all over their bedroom. That and the the hot one from Home Improvement. Who was it? Tim Allen? Wilson? Was it Wilson? This is this part. Because, you know, it's left the imagination what's going on down here. Up here, old man's eyes. Down here, Jonathan Taylor Thomas's body. I'm missing this. The kingdom is already gone. Hold our button and other button combinations to dance. Always dance. Do you, do you like it? Do you like when I dance for you? 
<laughs> was that? I did it. I did it. I danced well enough to, to. Am I a stripper? Oh, please, just push it like a normal person. <laughs> Those little kicks will give you no purchase. You're wearing ballet slippers anyway. You know who she is? She's Hermione. She's the kind of person who would say, it's Leviosa, no, Leviosa. And then she'd bend over and then twirl around. Margaret, appointments. Um, okay, do I just, so that fell away. Do I, do I need to keep jumping? Jump again, jump again, jump again. Yes, and roll and dance. <laughs> Run, own the tentacles. Dance with the tentacles. All the tentacles and roll away and run before they attack you. Ribbon. Incredible thumb strength, because I assume she's moving it like that to get up. And dance. Uh, that's a Mona Lisa bead curtain that is eating me alive. <laughs> Can I not get through it all? Oh no, I did it. Good. She's fine. She's fine. Dance. Dance your way out of this situation. Here we go. Nothing can touch me as I twirl, professional word. And a little boogie. What I'm talking about, shaft. I can dig it. And run away! Beautiful. It's a metaphor. The whole thing's a metaphor. All of this is just a giant metaphor. Ah, oh, must keep dancing. <laughs> uh, you know speed? Where she, they had to keep driving the bus at that speed, otherwise it'd blow up? It's like this, but dancing. Must keep dancing or you'll die. It's like Crank. Very underrated movie. A, a lot of time in video games, more powerful people send less powerful people on missions for them. Ah, uh, yes. We're back here. <laughs> God, you had a f***ed up childhood. Turn the page. Just wiggle a little. There we go. Interesting. So these are her drawings? I mean, all this stuff looks really good, and then you see that freaky cat down the bottom left. You're like, that doesn't fit with the art style you've established. She's sad because her toast burnt, but now we're together again, and the TVs are flying away. Oh, wait. Hang on. Are these levels? Those are levels. So I actually just spoiled the whole game. Spoiler alert. At the end of the game, all the TVs fly away. We'll leave it there. Okay, so that is bound. Let's get the obvious out of the way. Gorgeous, stunning, beautiful. Make me wallpapers for my computer for it. I, I, I love the look of it. And, and again, this is one of those games that people are going to be going, is this a video game? Is, is, should this be classified as a video game? There's gonna be a lot of angry people on the internet. Uh, but yes, it is, it, it, but this one, almost more so than any of these other walk -em ups that we've had so far is so much of I guess an experience because the the gameplay here is so so minimal uh, there's a bit of platforming I guess with the jumping but there's no challenge like I died a couple of times but I was like oh that's because I didn't realize there was a jump button and once I figured that out then I was fine the dancing here obviously is the metaphor that uh, she's looking back at her past her childhood and that dancing was something that was important to her and you know potentially kept her safe and and that dancing when I went through that that sort of like red bead thing and I was starting to be attacked by a lot of shapes, then I would dance and, and, and they would get away from me. And so as we're gonna go through this game, we're gonna see more and more of this metaphor play out. The one thing I am finding disappointing with the game so far is that the dancing seems almost entirely optional, except for that moment where I needed to spin around so that things wouldn't attack me. Dancing doesn't really need to happen. A lot of the game can be finished by just walking it so far. I was hoping that it would be more, you have these moves that you string together and that when you do that, then you've accomplished, I guess, like a platforming section or a puzzle section or, or even that section at the end uh, where I, I, I danced for that thing uh, and I, I kept dancing and then eventually it let me through. There, I, I didn't actually complete a puzzle, I just mashed and held the dance button and then did a bit of the breakdance boogie and I got through. Maybe there'll be more of that uh, as we go through the game where, where there's different moves coming in, but I would love a game that actually uses dance as a mechanic, not just as something that is sort of like a, a, a visual layer on top of just traversal. But I will play more because as you know about me, I must dance. All right, that is it for today's episode of Pocket My Pocketeers. Until next time, Nick, bye out. Mwah. And mwah. And mwah. 
and dance. He's just not in the mood. And 